In this demo, we will show you how to create, save, share, and download real-time metrics reports. Following on from the real-time metrics dashboard video, we are going to continue with our previous configurations for the dashboard, where we have queues as the primary grouping with agents and also routing profiles added as additional tables. Before we generate a report, let's customize the queues table. Scrolling up, click the cog icon in the right hand corner of the queues table. This will open the table settings. We can see the table settings as being sectioned into time range, groupings, filters, and metrics. For time range, you can select either trailing windows for time or midnight to now. For trailing windows for time, select the time range in hours between 0.5 and 24 for the data to include in the report. If you select midnight to now, the time range is from midnight to the current time based on the time zone that you select. If you select a time zone other than the one you are currently in, the time range starts at midnight from the calendar day in that time zone, not your current time zone. We are going to select trailing windows for time for the previous two hours. For groupings, it determines how the data is aggregated in the rows of your table. Adding more groupings will show more granular data and increase the number of rows displayed. For example, if we choose queues grouped by channels, we will see an extra channels column added to the table. Let's see what this looks like. Click apply. We can see that there are three channels for each queue, voice, chat, and task. Let's continue with configuring our table. Under filters, we can specify filters to scope the data to be included in the report. The available filters depend on the report type. For queues, we can choose to filter by queue, channel, or routing profile. Let's choose to filter by queue and select Demo Q1 to be the only queue we want to be included in our report. In the Metrics tab, choose the metrics and fields to include in the report. The available metrics and fields depend on the report type and filters that you select. For the queues report type, we can filter by agents, contacts, contact service level, and performance metrics. Scrolling back up, Let's select the agent metrics we want to include in our report. The pre-selected metrics are the default metrics that will be included in the report. Let's uncheck after contact work and non-productive time. And check staffed for demo purposes. Once we have customized the data we want to include in the report, let's go ahead and click apply. We can now see the time range is set to include the data in the previous two hours, and the queues are now grouped by channels. The table also only shows the selected demo queue one based on the filter, which only includes the metrics we've chosen. We can no longer see the after contact work and non-productive time metric, and we can see the added staffed metric. Let's now save this customized report. Click on save report in the top right hand corner and give it a name. In our case, it will be called Demo Report. Click Save. After saving the report, let's share the saved report. Click on Actions next to Save Report to open the drop down menu and click Share Report. This will generate a link which you can share to enable other peers to view your report. Please note, they must have access permission to view reports in your Amazon Connect instance. You also have the option to publish the report to your organization. Publishing the report will allow it to appear in the list of saved reports for everyone who has appropriate permissions in their security profile. This makes it easier for your organization to maintain a list of reports instead of needing to keep track of report links. For this demo, we will turn off publishing and click save. Apart from saving and sharing reports, in the dashboard, you can also download the report as a CSV format. You can do this under actions, open the drop down menu and selecting download CSV. 
Let's now go ahead and view our saved report. In the left hand sidebar, hover over the graph icon and click Saved Reports. On the Real Time Metrics tab, we can see our generated report. Let's click to open the report. We can now see that it has retained all our tables we've added, queues, agents, and routing profiles, and also the customization for the table as well. We can see that the time range is set to trailing window for the previous two hours, and also we can see the staffed metric. By using the saved report feature, it allows you to easily navigate to your customized tables and dashboard view without needing to reconfigure and recustomize every time. In this demo, we went through how to create, save, download and share reports. Thank you for joining me to go through the real-time metrics reporting feature for Amazon Connect.